Okay, we're going to go over all the tools you're going to need for any of the truck builds, no matter what you're working on. You're going to need a grinder. This is just a run-of-the-mill four-and-a-half-inch grinder. You're going to need some flat discs. You're going to need a square and a way to mark your metal. I use a scribe. You're going to need five clamps of some sort. Um, I use these vice grip style clamps. Uh, you can use C clamps, either will work. You're going to need a drill of some sort. You can do this with a hand drill. Um, it's probably a little easier with a drill press or a mag drill like I use. I use this mag drill. I got it online for uh, $150. It's worth every freaking penny. It works great. You need a three quarter inch drill bit. I use this step drill bit. You need an inch and three eighths drill bit. I got this from Harbor Freight for like 30 bucks and it has lasted me an extremely long time. It's actually a pretty nice bit. I got this uh, welding apron. Keeps me a little cleaner and uh, keeps me from burning holes in my clothes. Catching on fire, which is always nice, right? Uh, some safety glasses of some sort. You're going to need a welder. Uh, almost any 110 machine will do. It's just got to be able to weld 3 16 steel. Most of the 110 machines will do that. Uh, and you're going to need a bandsaw of some sort. That's a Delta 7x12. Um, I got it off Facebook Marketplace for 500 bucks. Uh, if you keep your eye out on Marketplace, you can find some pretty good deals on some on some tools. I'm pretty sure that came from a pissed off wife because it was almost brand new when I picked it up. In fact, I thought it was a fake ad when it was listed for 500 bucks. And you're going to need a, to build yourself a jig cart, and I will show you how to do that next. Now, this is my jig cart. Um, just going to want to build this four feet wide, five feet long. Mine is 42 inches tall. I'm six foot three and I like my cart a little taller. I like to weld standing up. So without bending over all day, if you're shorter, you might want to make this a little closer to the ground. I put these five inch wheels on mine so I can move the bed around uh, while I'm during the build and as well as when it's done. When I'm done, I wheel it over to the other side of my shop where my bay door is, pick it up with the crane and install it on the truck. So for domestic trucks, there's two different frame widths. Um, well, three, you got your cabin chassis, but for the most part, there's two. Uh, there's a skinny frame width and a wide frame width. The skinny frame width is 37 inches long. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab a piece of angle iron and weld it to one side of your cart on the edge. And then 37 inches away from that, you're gonna weld another piece of angle iron on there. And that's so when you lay your main frame rails on your jig here, you can uh, clamp them down and they're they're not going to move. Then you have the wide frame width, which is uh, 42 inches wide. So you're just going to take a second piece of angle iron and weld it on 42 inches in between these. And you're going to do that on both ends of your cart. Now it's very important to make sure that this is square when you build it. So when you cut it all out and you put it together, you are going to want to verify that it's square by measuring from one corner diagonally to the other corner and then doing the same the opposite direction and these measurements should be identical. If they are identical, you're perfectly square. If they're not, you're gonna want to adjust that before you fully weld this cart together. Because uh, if you get this, if you build this out of square, your entire bed's gonna be out of square. So it's very important, take your time on that. Other than that, that is the uh, so that's pretty much all the tools you're going to need to build a flatbed. Now I'm going to start filming pretty much every bed build that I do over time. I'm sure I'll get them all. I'm going to include measurements and how to put it together. So uh, if you're interested in that, building truck beds out of your own shop or garage, definitely hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification. That way uh, we can get you making some money too. I mean, I make, I make about four or $5,000 per per bed minimum depending on what I'm doing so I've built several at this point so I mean I can build one from scratch in a day day and a half 
I mean, it's very lucrative. You build one a month, you're pretty much paying for the average shop. It's well worth learning how to do. Anyway, let's move on.